Okay, this video is um, just to show you how to enter parametric equations um, into your TI Inspire CAS CX. So I'm just in the teacher software here. Um, so you can see uh, what buttons are being pressed over here and just a big version of the screen here. So what we can do is we can just start a new document, don't need to save the old one, um, and add a graphs page, uh, reasonably enough. Um, I'd also just a uh, point, um, I'd always recommend using the documents. Don't use Scratchpad. Um, Scratchpad just doesn't save and it's not a very good way of keeping track of all you're doing. Um, with the uh, documents, you can say, you know, we want to add in one graph here and then we want another graph. We can just add another page and uh, it's just a way better way of keeping track of everything. So let's just start with our first page and um, it's pretty easy. With add-in parametric equations, all you do is graph entry edit. Um, so you press menu and then three, and we go down to parametric. How nice. So here you just put in um, the function of x in terms of t. So I could go maybe you know, three um, cos t uh, plus five, and for y to sine t oh, take one uh, and then you'll notice down here uh, it's got your domain for t so it starts with zero between zero and 6.28 that might be a bit of a familiar number it's roughly uh, two pi um, so uh, if we change that we're going to change uh, how much of t it's actually graphing and it tells you the t step i just keep that as the standard three it's just a small amount so we do that oh we get ourselves an ellipse um, now if we just go down and double click on that like I've done there and I change this we can see how you know changing the domain is going to change that so I make that 3.14 it only goes half of the way around if I make it say five it takes it most of the way around right if I make it one it's probably not going to go around much is it no um, so yeah uh, the CAS is good for uh, checking your answers to things. Um, also, you know, uh, parametric equations can be pretty wacky. Uh, so, you know, maybe just play around with what happens if I make that two and I make that minus one and I make, and you know, oh, isn't that pretty? My parametric equation is pretty. Uh, and your case can do that. Desmos can do it too. Um, but, you know, in exams and things, you're going to have to know how to.